好。The only podcast coming through your beat stereo is Cherry's World, so let's go around like a merry-go. Plug your phone in, make sure it got a full battery. Download it Wednesday, listen to it Saturday. She cover all topics, whatever you after. She got ball players, authors, doctors, actors, rappers, singers, entrepreneurs, divas, leaders, Androids or Apple. Turn up your speakers. Trying to shoot my shot like the vaccine, whether it's Cherry or Maxine, whether the podcast or acting, she that queen. P Y T, you know what that mean? So. You on TV and touch the screen, touch on you. I plead, Lucy has got a crush on you. It'll mean the world to get a blush from you. Teaspoon to me, leave you sleep like Robert Tussin do. Hey, I tried something new. I took the um legendary and really put it in some hot tea, bro. It's actually all right. Y'all need to try this, viewers. Okay. It tastes really right, good. Sha, Sha, you drink? I do partake a little bit in right, cool, cool. you know adult beverages. Well, I will definitely have to get you a bottle of Legendaire. So let me introduce y'all. We just started off the conversation because we got nothing but family on the line tonight. Can it we have a Black-owned peach rum company in mm. the house. It is called Legendaire, but I got the founders and the owners on with us tonight. Gentlemen, straight out of Texas. Hey. Hi, y'all. Doing good. We have Mr. Michael, Mr. Broderick, and Mr. Marquise in the house. And they say this never happens, you guys. They say they never, all three of them, in the same place at the same time. We have Man. our host, Mr. Courtney Blackman, is in the house, along with somebody who we hijacked for tonight. Miss Shaw Jackson is here with us, too. Hey, hey y'all do two for one special. Cheers What's happening, you. fellas? What's happening? Man, this is this is a uh, epic night. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't even got to the questions yet, bro. It, it done got. I'm, it done, I'm loving it already. It done got real, real, real quick already. <laughs> so we got some legendaries in the house tonight. I need to know first of all, where did the name come from? Okay. Roger. So that would be, um, at that time, my 12 year old son. Okay. So, um, at the time when, when I thought about starting this company, I, I couldn't come up with a name. And so what I did was, uh, well, just to let you know, this was originally supposed to be a vodka. And so, um, your best vodka in my opinion is made in France. So what I did was I told him, well, give me some names. So then I'm going to translate it into French language. And then by doing that, it'll make you think you're getting vodka that's going to be imported. But we knew it was going to be domestic. Smart. And so long story short, he gave me the word legendary and I translated to legendary. And I said, that's it. And so took the name and then I ran with it. Smart. Smart. Love it. Legendary. And how did it become a rum? Okay, so I actually sat down with uh, my distiller, uh, our distiller in Jacksonville. And so at the time, uh, what he told me, he said, well, Roger, you're doing everything right. The problem is you just got the wrong product. And then I asked him, I said, well, what do you mean? He said, well, if you go into Specs, now Specs, for, for you that don't know, that's in Texas, that's our biggest liquor store in the state. He said, now, if you go to Specs, you can find, what, maybe eight to 10 rolls of vodka how long will it take you to really get this thing out there? Mm. And so when he when he said that, a light bulb went off in my head and I said, well, you're right. We got to come up with something that's not on the market. And we literally sat there for hours, just brainstorm. And then we just kind of threw some ideas out there. He mentioned peach. I said, we're in the South. We like our tea. And then we decided to go with the rum because rum is smooth. And if we if we nail the ingredients right, Honestly, we just in the, in the lane on, on our own, and so far it's paid off. So, 16 yeah. months in, national brand, five markets. I think we did pretty good. Yeah. So, Dope. and that's just what, what we are today. That's very smart, man. Because, like you said, everybody got a cognac, everybody got a, a vodka. I, I, I don't know too many rums, so that's dope. And rum is yeah. the best, honestly. I like rum and tequila. I, I, vodka gives me a headache. I can't do it. So, 
<laughs> well, I think you guys won. You did well. Like, cheap yeah. cheap vodka definitely makes me sick. Don't don't forget about the rum cake. You can you can make rum cakes as holidays. Yeah, rum cakes. Oh, okay. The holidays coming up. Everybody grab a bottle and go make it. Hey. Hey. So do I substitute an ingredient for the peach tea rum or do I just add it in on top of everything else or just use it like I would the regular rum because it's it's a little sweeter right mm -hmm. because it has the peach in it so do I leave out like vanilla like what do I leave out I, I would just it? add it the same as as, yeah. normal, as you normally would I would just add it and I personally actually had it and it was very good but I'm open if anybody else wants me to uh to try it if y'all want to bake it and ship it to me we can make that happen uh, or I can pull up and maybe I well I might get in trouble for that on there so uh, but yeah <laughs> we we can definitely try that all right, so check this out. I don't want to just make it seem like I just be trying stuff, but I be <laughs> check it out. <laughs> I took some shrimp, and I just, I just, I, I took some shrimp, and I just dipped it in the room, and I ate it. I'm like shit. Like we might need to bottle this up and just you know make. It, it, I'm telling you, bro, you can dip this. You can dip shrimp in this, and it's gonna taste good. Real so talk. Do you saute it or do you do it like a shrimp cocktail? So this is what I'd take me some notes on that recipe. So this this is what I done. Cause you know I'm out here and you know I just I I I made some gumbo the other day. And so I had some shrimp on the side and I had some of the rum right there. And I just you know how you boil your shrimp or whatever. Yes. So I just regular boiled them. No, no sauce on, I mean no uh seasoning nothing. And I was just looking at it, and I just said, I'm going to try this. I just dipped it up off of there, and it's like, damn, this shit tastes good. It was just, it oozed all, like, it was It was nice. It was nice. I just, I it, like, I, I, I dipped it, and it was just dripping off, rearing all down the spine of that mug. I hit it, I was like, ooh, yeah. <laughs> now, this, now this like, is the yeah, first time I've heard of this. Can, any, can anybody confirm this story? Can, oh, hold up. This, this is the first time I ever heard look, of this. Yeah, me look, too. So, me too. So, this is what I'm going to need y'all to do then. Go out bodies and try it tonight now i told you about the ice cream yeah get two scoops ice cream. Ice cream is yeah. good now yeah. how many now how many of y'all did y'all homework on that i did i did the ice cream i got me some vanilla ice Thank cream you. right and i made like a legendary float okay. with my ice cream and it was bomb okay so what's the ingredients how, how you make ice cream so <laughs> <laughs> and, just, and just just ice cream in the in the, in the, in the rum does it yeah and you like, pull much you could pull much rum as possible but me i i would hit i would hit it with like two shots you know what i'm saying there you go a shot of scoop well i didn't i didn't even count i just poured it um, you be like is that ice cream floating <laughs> there we go there we go <laughs> just pour it as needed <laughs> it was yeah. good I got me a little spoon and was mixing it up and then drank the rest. It was bomb. But Legendary, I don't know if uh, Marquise and Broderick know. You guys have actually sponsored Cherry's World Podcast before. Mm -hmm. And uh, no. I didn't got, got a little nice doing some interviews on y'all stuff. Hey. <laughs> No, I Mike. Uh, he he keeps uh, me informed for sure. You Mike. got that boy stuttering over there. <laughs> so he 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 keeps me informed on how you work and and, and helping really putting the company out there. And sure. me personally, I, I I really appreciate it because I know what you do. Well, the stuff he he tells me, and so um. But but I know that you you didn't have to, and and we really appreciate it because you moved the needle a lot. Uh, especially in our infant stages, and it, and it just really carried over. So you know, Thank and you. so that's why you, you know. And let me just tell you for the record, I'll be honest with you. I almost didn't do it, but when he told me it was cherry, I said I'm gonna make it happen because I was busy today. I I, I almost didn't make this, but because it was you, that's why I did it. And then we yeah. got a bonus. We got Shar and we got uh Courtney <laughs> oh, <laughs> as well. So. But yeah, but but I'm glad I'm here, and I'm glad that you you you, you had us come on. So, Absolutely. Oh, absolutely, I'm a, I'm a huge fan, and I'm a huge fan for two reasons. One, the pro well, three reasons. One, the product honestly is impeccable, and it really tastes good. Sharma, sure, make sure you get a bottle so that you awesome. can back me up. We can cook some recipes. Yes, 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 yes. But two, I love Michael. Okay? Yes, I know and that. <laughs> three, black men in business. In Texas, it's 
such an honor. It's so attractive. And I love to see my brothers do positive things. That sounds like the yeah. cover of a magazine, the way you Man, said that. I, I was like, ready to vote for her for president. What? <laughs> Bro. Like, hey, vote, I'm voting for her. <laughs> it sounds good. Michelle Obama better like, watch out now. So <laughs> what brought you three together to do this venture? So uh, if, if I pick off for where I left off with the whole, you know, coming up with the name, uh, the idea started um, when I used to do music. And this is when I first met Mike. Uh, I've been knowing him about 15 years now, I think roughly about 15 years. And and when we was doing music, I had the idea to come up with an alcohol, but I didn't know how to get started. Uh, later on uh, down the line, when I got when I stopped music and I decided I would go this route and just make a make a, um, a alcohol, the first person I tapped after I got all the things that I felt like I needed in terms of the idea. Well, not the rum part because I didn't know yet. But as far as like getting it to the point where we can launch it, uh, the first person I tapped was Michael because I've been knowing him for a while. I know what he can do. Uh, that's my brother, but he's a high risk, high reward. So I was like the the high risk part. Yes, he he gonna hit it. But that that high the, the high risk part. Excuse me, I can manage that because we got a good uh, relationship. Uh, the high the the high side to it. I was like that'd be huge. That'd be beneficial. Uh, now I met Marquise uh, when I went back to, to college. As a matter of fact, I put a post on Facebook today because today is uh, my fifth year anniversary when I graduated from PVA and then shout out to the Panthers. The, the yeah. PVA AMU University. Yeah, I met Marquise and then um, I just thought like when I first met him, this guy, is, he's, he's sharp business mind. Uh, Marquise is, uh, how old are you wrote now? 28, 29, something like that? Who's counting? We, yeah, so so now me and Mike in our forties, but but he just like he had an old soul to him about him, and he was real sharp even at that age. And I was like, man, I got to get this guy on the team. And then a couple of years later, we made it happen. So then that's that's what what, what you got today. We got a, a awesome staff underneath us and a lot of support, the cherries of the world. And from there, we just we just been mashing. But but that's how we came together ultimately. That's that's how it happened. It's a beautiful venture. So do you guys all have different niches that you hone in on? I'm going to let them answer that. I know that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I, I'll start off. I'll start off. So for me, of course, we do whatever it takes to get the job done. But primarily, um, as Broderick said, I focus on the back end uh, with the finances, the sales, uh, making sure that we're we're doing as much as we can. and We're maximizing our opportunity with the resources we have. Um, so at, at any given point in time, you can see, you'll see Broderick or, or Sterling or myself, you know, we'll do whatever it takes, but mostly I'm, I'm normally on the back end. So that's why when I joined the call, I literally was like, oh my God, it's the first time someone has actually had all three of us together. Like this has never happened. You never get all three of us together. And it's not on purpose. It's just that we're always running, you know, trying to build it up, get it off the ground. So, um, we're definitely blessed to be where we're at. Like Broderick said, we're constantly growing. Um, and of course, everybody knows the legendary Michael Sterling over here. I think we all know what he does, right, Sterling? Oh, well, you know, I'm just going to make sure all the Don't try to downplay it. Don't try to downplay it. <laughs> no, be real I'm just being one of the people, man. I'm going to make sure all the chest. strip clubs got it. I'm going to make sure all the... <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. Um, <laughs> no, I, he, I he's talking about that... More. that he, he's talking about that, that high risk side right now, y'all. Yeah, there you go, right Don't there. Don't play that side, no. No, hey, it's bro. Him. Everything count. You know what I'm saying? Is <laughs> I'm gonna get it out there. I'm gonna get it out there. So that that's really my thing with the marketing, getting it placed in these movies or whatever. Cherry helping us with a lot of placement or whatever. Uh, just really getting it out there and tapping into the market. Uh, it, it's a it's an ongoing thing, man. I can say that. Like it, it make my job a little harder. We all you know sharp you know iron sharp and iron. But like when that COVID hit. We had to do some creative thinking because we it, that messed up everybody hustling and marketing game. So we had to like figure out how we gonna do this because let's just say Southern California, you we we not illegally allowed to do tastings. You know what I'm saying? So versus Texas, I, I don't even think Texas ever even shut down to be yeah. honest with you. Because uh, when I went back out there, they people were looking at me crazy with a mask on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, it was it was just a little different with certain areas. Not all LA, I'm just saying. But so it was a little different with the marketing between the two. So uh, that kind of like 
it, it made us form our own little niche way of doing it. Look but, at cherry drink, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, man. I'm going to hey. pull out the cup like that, though, Cherry. You're not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong. She's being legendary right now. Right? <laughs> legendary night. But I'm going to say this, though. I want to say this. I I, I know y'all got plenty of questions, man, because, like, I ain't going to lie. I'm really proud of this. And uh, something that we talk about a lot is just really, like, giving back and stuff like that. So it's more than just alcohol to us. It's more than just alcohol to us. You know what I'm saying? Stuff that we want to do in the community and stuff like that, too that uh, we're going to want people to probably partner up with us on that, too. So we're not just selling alcohol. We're we, we, uh, we trying to build careers and stuff for other people, too. We're trying to get wealthy at the same time. We don't want to get rich. We ain't trying to hit no licks. We, we want to be wealthy, but then provide a good product. Mm -hmm. What about, um, like, I know, I know a couple, I know some guys that would love to, like, market the... The legend there, like maybe make a rap video for it and anything. Would y'all be yeah. interested in that? Yeah, we've been doing it. Like uh, yeah, we've, been, we've been we've been getting a lot of placements. People been making songs and blues songs. Uh, what what part of the country are you in? Chicago. Oh, okay, so I don't know. Do y'all do like trail rides up there? Like they do down south? Trail rides? What's that? Uh oh. Oh right. man, you gotta so, come down to Texas. Yeah, so that's you like gotta get you Texas. some boots and come on down here, man. We can't. We can't let this continue no longer. Well, well, that's like some. Uh, <laughs> what's, what's that's the, like some. Trail ride? So tr trail ride is like some. That, that's like our black cowboy type stuff, but in the south, from Texas all the way on over to Atlanta, but real strong in like uh, Texas, Louisiana, and, and Mississippi. Um, Mississippi, Arkansas stuff. Like it's fun. It's real fun. You know what I'm saying? And so, but those th those little groups like that, they pay. You know what I'm saying? Like they they throw on their boots and they be two stepping. And I don't know how to do all that, but they throw on their boots and they be two stepping and stuff. But like these people got real big corporate jobs and stuff like that too. So their pockets is fat, but then you know they come together and they kind of like bikers, like some of those bikers. You know what I'm saying? And it, and it's fun, and like it's like some black cowboy type stuff. And they might have the street blocked off and they on their horses and stuff. I think I seen something like that in Compton, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's fun. And so, uh, to make the long story short, uh, one of them made one of them, no, two of them made a song. I got to get that that other song to y'all too. Two of them made a song about our legendary. Like, uh, have you ever heard that that uh, that that song, the Tennessee whiskey? You ever heard that 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 country song? I feel like Tennessee I heard whiskey. That there you go. Oh, I heard, some, I heard some, some some church in that voice. <laughs> hey, sound like we got a vocalist on it. So yeah. we we um somebody made a song like that. They got the drinking and got the singing and shit. there you go. The song jam too, bro. Okay. So um so yeah, like you say, we are trying to market it through the through the music and stuff like that. Uh, we got a Caribbean guy made a song too mm -hmm. uh, out there in Florida. That go hard. So we just letting it just do what it do. Yeah. This this, I, this stuff will make you sing, bro. I, I might start rapping in a minute. No. <laughs> no. Give him a beat. Give him a beat. <laughs> no, bro. You, what is <laughs> what is the price point, you guys, to buy a bottle? Well, I I'll take that. So it, it varies. Uh, it's right now is retailing at twenty three ninety nine, and the mom and pops can go up as high as twenty eight ninety nine. So it's it's at a price point you guys definitely thought about it. It's something that everybody can afford. Was that done purposefully? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, a lot of it is dictated to when, because our customers are the distributors. Okay. Because we know about the alcohol, it's a three-tier system. So when we sell to the distributors, they turn around, sell to the retailers, the bars or whomever, and they add their markup. So like the final cost for the consumers, we won't necessarily have anything to say on that. You know, that's what they're choosing. So, um, but yes, we try to be price conscious, but at the same time, this ain't a cheap, it's not a cheap liquor. So, no. you know, you got to pay for quality too. So we're going to try to get, you, we're going to meet you halfway there, but you know, it can't break the bank. So, yeah, so, absolutely. I, I should put this on mute. That's fair. Shar, what you want to know? Because oh, you saw it in my face. I see your face. I'm like, okay. okay. No, because you know, you know, I'm going to start this little, this little uh, cooking series, right? And so all I'm thinking about is what big cook, I can, big what I can make with it. That's all I'm thinking about. Like what stuff I can put, 
you know, I can use it in when I'm cooking. That's all I'm sitting here thinking about. Like, mm. we need to, we need to make sure that you get a bottle. We need to make sure that you get a bottle so you can experiment. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes, we yes, can yes. experiment. Cause that's all I'm doing is sitting here just being greedy going, mm, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> and she could cook, y'all. You know. Good. Sing, really. she I was can like, sing, oh, she I want to pour this into each cobbler. You know, just all yeah, yeah. You know? There you go. There you go. You know, hey, just running in my head. That's all. That. So, yeah. Hey, that's dope. In the peach cup. Right? Yeah. yeah. Drunk peach cobbler? That'd be strong. <laughs> hey, Ooh. Yeah. Wait, no, did you did you wait? Did you just name it that? Or yes, that's I, did. Name? I just named it right now. Damn. Wow! Hey, that's 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 hey, man, that is it. Drunk, yeah, yeah. Drunk peach I like cobbler. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like that too. <laughs> that's dope. Yeah. Wow. I'm telling you, yeah, I just created another business. I'm gonna have a damn food truck with drunk cobbler. There you go. See, look at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Legendary bring out the ideas and people. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. We got uh, we got legendary merch too. Um. Uh, Broderick, do you have those dominoes? You got you... dominoes? What? Okay. What? Yeah, y'all haven't seen the dominoes? What? So, so, are you guys at the domino? Um, what is it the called? Tournament? The tournament? Like yeah, the tournament. yeah, yeah. Oh, well, somebody get, yeah. I was gonna say, Antoine plays in the domino, tournament. yes, he does. Let, him, let him see those dominoes. She getting them for us. Not dominoes. That's crazy. Yeah. So um, we have hey. a. Uh, can y'all see this? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, them nice. Yeah. So uh, these were Rick. custom made. Uh, came from Sterling and Domino right there in LA, where, where he's at right now. Hey, can, you, can you show, show this? Yeah, show the whole thing. Because, you know, them, you oh, know you wanna, what you want to yeah, see? Like, this part? Like sideways and everything because of how they look. Okay. Nice. So you got this on the back, like I just showed you here. Yeah. I don't know how clear. And then this is sideways. Okay. And then, of course, you know, this is the, the part you're playing on. Yeah, that's pretty. Those are. Uh, hopefully, y'all can see that, but it, it looks a lot better in person. Where um, can yeah. I pick those up at? Because I would love to buy those for Antoine. Mm -hmm. That'd be a great gift for Antoine Tanner. He goes to like all the little tournaments and stuff. Well, I shouldn't call him little because he makes a lot of money. In yes, that. he does. You playing bones like that? Yeah. Okay. So, so right now, uh, for the like on the consumer market, you can't. Well, we're setting it up now so we can actually go to the site and actually get it. But like for Cherry, like for you, since you know, you know DJ Domino, and th yeah. so that's how we get them. So. We'll okay. Offline, and we can get you some. That's not a problem. I'm gonna have right. to call homies. Oh, so whoever they... else wants some, that's on the line too. I, I mean, I didn't want to just. Be... You don't have to. You don't have to like say any names or anything. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got you. I seen. I seen over there looking like he just not gonna say nothing. <laughs> I got you. I got yeah, you. I got yeah, you. We, we we got you too. I, we got I, you. We got like, you. Hey, yeah. hey Brody, do you have those uh those sandals with you, brother? I wear them every day. Hey, yeah, I got sandals you know, right here, right here on deck. Yeah, there you go. Oh, man, hold on, I don't know. I love you. it. There you, there you go. There you go. Right there. My yeah. end, yeah, I can't really. Yeah, they they read in black letters, and so this is a sidebar and sidebar. Yeah, so this is just an idea of some of the things that's going to be available real soon on our website yeah. for people to go check out and and purchase, and uh, you know, and be legendary. I'm over here with my mouth open like sandals. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yeah, <laughs> making moves over there. Y'all making real moves. It sounds like we're gonna have to send send y'all some sandals and some a dominoes gift package. And a yeah, whole gift package. The PR package. Sorry. We need the PR package. There PR package. package. There you go. There no. you go. Man, man, she is creative with the names. We got the we got the drunk, the drunk, drunk, co <laughs> drunk cobbler. <laughs> yeah, yeah, drunk cobbler. The PR package. Was well, she? You gonna be legendary for real? <laughs> hey. So where can, you know, because everybody's going to start hitting me. Every time I post it, I get a, where can we buy it? Where can we buy it? And I keep posting like all the places in Houston, yeah. they can go get it. And I know there's some places in, in Dallas, but what if they're not in Texas? Like how can other people get the product? So I, I can take that. So in California, uh, our market is mostly with the Total Wine stores, Total Wines and more. Um, Florida, the same. Uh, Texas, if you're in if you're in Dallas, uh, Goody Goody would be probably one of the primary stores to go to. 
Um, and then aside from that in Houston, you know, we have Total Wines and More, OST, Royalty Liquors. Uh, we have a lot of support here in Houston. Uh, but if you're in California or Florida, definitely go check out Total Wines and More. And uh, if they don't have it, be sure to ask for it. Now, this is where the sales guy comes in. Make sure you ask them for it and demand them to pick it up because we've definitely been uh, emailing them and calling them, trying to get them to, uh, to at least give us a look uh, because it is a phenomenal product. Uh-huh. New York and New Jersey, too. Yeah, I was going to say, what about the rest of yeah. the country? New, yeah, New York and New, New Jersey. Jersey. But these are selected places. We're not in every total wine. Yeah. So um, we're going to give y'all that list to post, and then they can they can see from there. Right. Okay. How hard is it to, like, um, to bring a new product in, into, like, a, a liquor store, or just in general, like, to, to open up a new product like that? How hard is that? Because you introduced, um, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna take that question because okay, I, I will. You see, you see my I, reaction. <laughs> I was, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it this way because this is the best way you should start. Study your liquor laws first because this is not for the faint of heart. It's gonna cost you money. Now I know that you know people see what legendary is today, but they didn't see this eight years ago when I was trying to figure Damn. out man, like what does this even mean? Or uh, so. You, you, you want to make sure before you jump into this business, because it is a money pit, unless you have a strategy to get to where you, you, you're coming out the red until you, and, and you're coming into a profit margin. So study that first and then come back and ask me that question, because you may, you, you may not even want to do this. And, and that's not to discourage nobody, but that's just to be honest. You know, you don't want to waste time. You don't want to waste money. You don't want to re- waste resources. Study those laws first. I'm gonna say this. It was some back to back problems though, because remember when the little the little uh shutdown was going on with Donald Trump, it was holding up our paperwork. So remember when they did the government shutdown? Oh, yeah, the government shutdown. Man, so people was, I know some people was like, it's not affecting us, but it was affecting us because <laughs> we oh, yeah. it, it, it was prolonging stuff. And then yeah. the COVID hit. You COVID, know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, so yeah, those, so those that, that really things. that's a good point though. That that's a good point, Mike. Because what what he's saying ultimately is even with the plan, everything still didn't go according to plan. Man, so that's <laughs> yeah, you yeah, you're right about that. Uh, yeah, I just I I forgot all about that, but yeah, you that was painful. Man, look, uh, I I went, I hit a whole bunch of because you're not guaranteed to get in every store either. Because yeah. I wouldn't hit a day no, I wouldn't hit a whole bunch of stores up. I think it was probably about 20, 30 stores. No response. Nothing. I went in there. They tasted. Yeah. Took pictures of the bottle. Everything. Everybody not going to like it. Yeah. But you got to keep moving. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, stores and, don't pick it up unless they like it? Well, sometimes it's the store manager. Yeah. Um, if it's a chain, like a total, it may be the store manager has to like it. Um, we've went in places where the restaurants, the bartender wants it because, of course, you know, bartenders, you give them a new product, they're excited, they start mixing it up, you know, they get the, they start having fun with it. But then the owner may come in and say, oh, well, yeah, we'll do it, or maybe we won't, or we'll look at it next quarter. So for us, the biggest thing is we're, we're consistently following up uh, with these bars, with these restaurants, and trying to create a relationship. We don't want to just hand off our product and say, see you never wary right we want to be involved we want to come to those tastings and you know we turn it into almost like a block party when we do our tastings yeah and if you've ever been to one of our tastings you'll see a dj you go you somebody gonna pop a bottle and start drinking in the parking lot and you know it's gonna turn into a That's parking it. lot thing it's 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 we didn't tell them to open that bottle in that parking lot. That's we did not. We did not tell them that. I didn't say I didn't see it, but we didn't tell them that. Yeah, we didn't tell them that. Once they buy the product, it is their product, and they're they're they have to drink responsible. Yeah, especially the bottle. Yeah, they're responsible. That's right. So, but but you know, people people get excited about new products. You know, we're in a space that a lot of brands you know, never get to. So we're, we're extremely excited. We pray every day and we pray every night because it's definitely a grind. I'm going to say this to some of the viewers that's, that's uh, probably watching. Um, when when they post the uh, the locations, if you're one of them people that don't want to go out for COVID or nothing, and you can, some of those stores, you if it's close to you, you can order it and they'll bring it to you if you're within a certain yeah. radius. Yeah. So yeah. if you if you don't want to go out, They'll leave it on your porch like Uber Eats or something. Drizzly. Yeah, that's Drizzly. one. 
Yeah, that's one of them. Yeah, I order on Drizzly all the time. Yeah, it's on Drizzly now. So it's on Drizzly. So can you give us the website for Legendary? Because do you have a list of all the places that people can go buy it there on your website? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's at legendaryspirits.com. Legendaryspirits.com. So when you go there, um, it'll show you um, the availability. It is mobile friendly. Last time I checked, um, we are doing some updates to it currently. So that way we can add some of the things that um, you guys got an exclusive to tonight. Um, but we definitely want to make sure that uh, everybody knows where to get it from. Um, we, we appreciate everybody's support. So what is the goal going into 2020 for the company? Well, uh, we, we have a lot. 2022. But, oh, I'm two years back. Yeah, it kind of threw me off when you said that. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I, I knew what you meant because I'll be doing that sometimes. Like, yeah, 2020. It's like, wait, what? You just don't um, want to believe the last two years have happened. Right. I've been in the house the whole time. We, we need a reset. Right. Uh, but we, we, we got many goals. But but I would tell you this one. Um we, we want to enter into more markets, but we also want to become effective in our current markets. And when I say that, I mean it this way. Um, so we mentioned about the totals, the goodies or whatever, uh, but there's still more untapped potential even in these states. And even how we're moving, like it's like Marquis said, like Sterling saying, it's a blessing to be in this position. We don't take it for granted. You know, uh, regardless of whatever post you see or whoever holding up a bottle or somebody talking about it, the gratitude is still there. Like it is, it's nothing arrogant about it. It's just more so this is what God can do when you believe in what he puts in front of you and you actually have the courage to take the chance, you know, take the chance to actually want to do it, take the risk. So I say that to say the opportunities that we that we're given now, let's maximize it. And then we also want to expand in more territories because we do get a lot of people that's in Chicago. We do get people that's in Baltimore, that's in Detroit or Colorado to say, hey, when you guys are coming and we want to be in island spaces, you know, because when the demand is there, you want to meet the challenge. And, and that's just that's just it. And and like Mike is saying and, and Marquise is saying as well, the whole goal is to get back to the community, because one of the things I'll tell you, I did another interview maybe about a month ago, I think. And what I what I said in that interview, I don't remember the question, but I remember what I said. I said that, you know, not only legendary but black businesses we have an obligation not for just black people to just support black businesses but the, the other side of that we got an obligation to support our communities because it got to be a cycle see if, if it's only coming one way and i don't give back well what was the point because mm -hmm. you made the company what they are but the company got to make the community what they can be and that's just the bottom line and that's just how i see it and that's how we see it and we're going to keep doing what we're doing Absolutely. And one of those goals is that uh, Project always mentioned in our meetings. Um, we want to put our distillery in Third Ward, in the heart of Third Ward. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so uh, we most definitely, uh, that's one of the goals to put the distillery in Third Ward. In one of, in, in, uh, I forget what, would you say by groove somewhere? I forgot yeah. that little section right there off, off of 59, 45. Yeah, so. Yeah. We want to just build in our community because they are already building back up in that third ward area. Like his business is popping up back to back because yeah. right, right in that same area, it used to be home to 150 uh, black businesses back in the day. Mm -hmm. So uh, we want to we, we're going to rebuild that. So will it be the kind of distillery that obviously will bring employment to the neighborhood? But can they all taste in the neighborhood? It would most definitely be a landmark and and, and a uh, tourist attraction. Uh, we we want to you know be able to throw our own shows and stuff over there because we have sponsors. We have proprietary <laughs> information. Don't don't because you know the viewers. We don't want to give. Them hey man. Too. Hey <laughs> hey hey. You know, I, I I was trying to put the chat on here. Say hey man. Don't give it all I saw away. You. I saw you. I, I was, was like, trying hey, to fix this. Don't hey, too much. And my mouth started not, messing y'all good, but the listeners, we don't know. Who hey, is. yeah, I, I was trying to hit hit the chat on the man and say, hold up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I was kind of talking. I was talking to potential investors too. So, so <laughs> are you okay? Wait, potential investors. Are you guys interested in bringing investors on board? And if so, what exactly are you looking for? And what, what uh, yeah. let, let, let's let's uh, more keys answer them, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Well, here's the thing <laughs> for for the investors, you know, I'm never going to say no, but it would really have to be a, a, a really strong number. Um, definitely over six figures for us to even consider it at this point. And I'm not trying to sound, you know, like a like like we got it like that. That's not true. But what I'm trying to say is when you put everything in it, sweat equity, your retirement, your 401k to get your business going, it's like your baby. Right. And mm -hmm. not everybody's going to raise your children the way you raise your children. Right. And the business is no different. It's our baby. You know, we spend a lot of a lot of nights up not sleeping just like a baby waking up early, barely sleeping, dealing with all types of things that, you know, you wouldn't even believe if I told you. Um, so because of that, we really take pride in what we've done and we built a very strong brand and we're looking to make it stronger. And, you know, not everybody understands your vision and it's not for them to understand. It's for us to understand and to grow it. Um, so at this time, if it's if it's an investor, I'm not going to say no, but I will say it would really have to be not just about the money, but that person's morals and their ethics, because we just we just want to do we're doing it the right way and we want to continue to do that. And, you know, we do believe in the value of prayer. We do believe in the value of, you know, what you put in it is what you get out of it. And we do believe in, you know, honesty and not unfortunately, not everybody's like that. So uh, we want to make sure that whoever that if it is an investor, that is definitely a strong number and that their their goals and 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 and, and what's the word I'm looking for? Goals and ambition <laughs> match with ours, if that makes sense. Absolutely. You don't want to take every homie's ten thousand dollars. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's a loaded question there. That was a good one. <laughs> that, was, that was a good one. Because we have been approached. I mean, by all means, I mean, every every day, every week, someone comes to us and, oh, man, I got, you know, I got five thousand dollars. I'm like, hey, thanks. But no, <laughs> you know, so we we you know, when it when it comes down to that, if that offer happens, then we'll discuss it when it when it pops up, if it's a serious number and we'll go from there. So I'm not saying no, but I'm not saying yes either. We just got to see. I mean, that sounds to me like y'all really got y'all stuff together because, you know, yeah. for people to be able to say, to be able to, you know, make your own decisions or who get to be involved, yeah. that's, that says a lot about the direction where y'all going. Man, I don't Absolutely. think it's no better time to be black than right now. You know what I'm saying? Just so much control, like with, with our products and stuff like that. Yeah, our content, you know what, I mean? you know what I'm saying? Just like right now. Look what, you, look what you're doing right now with this show, you and Cherry. You couldn't do this 15 years ago. You had to go through some people. Or whatever. It just wasn't set up. For it, you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. so now we can get we can get the information out. So I can guarantee you, man. I, I think before this show ends, we're gonna probably have about a hundred thousand people trying to get bought for. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them to go follow the legendary at legendary spirits. <laughs> Go follow us at Legendary first. Do not send us an offer and you're not even following us now. <laughs> so, yeah, de definitely say, go check us out. Every time I post, I get a bunch of people asking, where do I purchase? So people are waiting for it. They're looking for it. They want it. Courtney wants it. Courtney got a cousin who keeps asking for it. And I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's where that second bottle is going to go. Yes, that's for her Christmas gift. She been at, she been asking about it since last since the first season, right, Jerry? Yeah. I think first, yeah. She, I would tell you most people that try it once they try it, they're hooked. They're hooked. You know, it's something new. It's 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 if you've never had it, you're cheating yourself. So definitely go try it. Um, me personally, I drink it straight, but I've had people mix it. Uh, they make it like an Arnold Palmer, like a sweet tea and a lemonade. They do the legendary, a splash of lemonade, stir it up. Two seconds, you in and out the door. You 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 own you own the something. I know. I just gave you. That. Yeah, there you go. See, giving you them fresh ideas. Yeah. Yeah. There I you just, go, giving the fresh I, I want to know what's going to happen if people watching this show and then they be like, "That drunk cobbler sound kind of <laughs> good." <laughs> <laughs> how, what, how, how, how are we going? How are we going? Yeah, yeah how man. Are we gonna get she that? got the drunk cobbler. <laughs> I ain't never heard of that before. That's what I'm saying. Call Charmonious. That's so you know what, Cherry? I think. Y'all need to do the drunk cobbler challenge with the legendary, but you can only do it with the legendary bottle. That's it's the only way you're gonna be able to make it right. It's the only oh, peach rum, dude. Like yeah. it doesn't make sense if it's anybody else. Yeah, so I think the challenge starts to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I gotta get Wait, you. Just take you know, a sip I'm, is like the it's the equivalent to drop the mic, right? Roger, do you, right. Do you have a new label for him, Roger? Do you have a new label bottle with you? Uh I, I do. Um 
So so this is something else that they can look for if you if you have it near. Same body, same. How, My boy a case? How can I get a case real quick? Uh, hey! hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Court, Courtney, you cut it. that out. <laughs> okay, good deal. Okay, so <laughs> we'll talk <laughs> offline. Well, you, you'll get your case. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, I'll pay for it, but I need a case, and I need no, we're, we're, to go to Char and two to go to Courtney. No, we, we'll get it to you, but but this is the new label bottle right here. I don't know if you guys can see this. Ooh, it's yeah. sexy. Ew, so yeah. what what for this one? We originally came out with it to do um, our first year on the market, first year anniversary. But a lot of people are gravitating to this label, so you mm -hmm. may actually see the continuation of this one, and then the one that you know our original label. Maybe we'll come out with that. Maybe even five years or something. You, you got that one. You got it. I want to see them side by side. I never see them side by side. You got it with you? Oh, yeah. Uh, so this is the original one right here. And then now we have the one that Roger just showed you, Roger. Yeah. We have that one now. So we got So but but the the see people have been going yeah, with the red one. Yeah. You see mm -hmm. that? Same great taste. It's just a different label. Yeah. Same uh, great taste. Like a, that's a commercial yeah. right there. You know what there you I go. would do? You know what I would do if I was watching this? I would probably just buy both of them to see if they taste the same. Hey, you know, you know, if you find this bottle right here, if you find this bottle, if I were y'all, I would, I would definitely keep it, keep it in the vault somewhere. Like you know, because that that oh, may be man. part of history one day. Yeah, if it, we, we may not bring that label back. Mm. So if you're one of the ones that that see this on the shelf and you're a collector, you better go quick. That's that Ooh. white label. You yeah, go I quick. got one of those. <laughs> you better go so, quick. So rum doesn't go bad, right? It's like wine. Like as long as you don't open it, it just gets better with time. Yes. I don't keep it long enough. Well, okay. So right. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't I was just going to say, let me, let me say it this way. I don't <laughs> keep it long enough to <laughs> that long to even know. But I've never had a problem when I opened a bottle. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna say I don't think alcohol expires, does it? I don't think it has an expiration. Um, most alcohols have a very long shelf life, but alcohol can go bad. Yeah. But, but you're talking like, yeah, you know, like you would have to really have it for a long time. Like over had 20 years, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Had but, 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 then, but then the whole process of like the aging, like wrong, right. or if you're distilling it. All of that matters in terms of how long this could actually go. The proof matters, you know, the higher the proof. The more that the, I want to make sure I don't say nothing to where people can't figure out what we're doing. But as far as the, the proof is concerned, the higher it is, the, the stuff that you use to make it, it, it bonds together. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't break down. So okay. that those bottles, let's say if you got like a 92 proof or over 100 or whatever, that will last you for a very long time because those ingredients are going to stick together because they, they've already been embedded. The, the smaller proofs like ours, you're going to have a, a long shelf life, but you just know, you know, you can't keep this for like 100 years. Not this version. We'll come out with more later, but not this So version. what is the proof on a legendary? Because when I was young, I knew by the proof, you know, how fast it was going to get me there. So this is 60 proof. Ooh. 60 Thanks. proof. Mm -hmm. I ain't playing. Yeah. I would like to say this too. Um, legendary make a good Christmas gift. Yeah, but it, it makes a really good Christmas gift to the viewers. Like it makes, a, but I would not get one box. Do not walk in nobody's right. house with no one box. Man, right. that, that is like, d go get a case now. Go get a case. Go get a case. And but, you want to get a case for Christmas? Or you want to get one for New Year's because they're gonna be asking a week later for New Year's Eve. That's so why go get I a, want case. a case. Yeah, I actually, thank you, chick. I want to give them to my neighbors. You know how the neighbors drop off yeah. gifts and stuff. Yeah, I just got some beautiful flowers today that were dropped off at my door by a neighbor. So I would like to give, you know, to my neighbors. Oh, you in the yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We, 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 we got you. We got you. <laughs> yeah. I heard yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, you most definitely want to get a case, bro. It, yeah. It's kind of like, you know, like how your mama go to Sam's and she go get the wine and she go get the whole case? Yeah. You, that, that's, that's what you would want to do with this. Get the case. Yeah, because they're going to steal your bottles too. What happened to they, me? Yeah. I had, I had a bunch of bottles in California, and then I think um, I think I got took for two bottles. 
Um, they quit. Oh, I would have. I would have took one had I been to your house and saw it. <laughs> again, I'm, yeah. I'm going to cook with it as well. So them bottles. I'm going to have a glass quick. as I cook with it. So, um, <laughs> so I definitely would have got you. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> At least you know when when this case goes missing. You know who did right? it. <laughs> Look at your cousin. Yeah. She'll take your stuff, but she tell you, "Hey, this mine." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna say this: if, if, that's just rude. <laughs> if something happened to the viewers and somebody happened to take their case, just know, ne- just go get another one. But just know, next time, put that one up. Yeah, yeah. just get another yeah. one and just, you know. But you know, I would like. You know, I, I honestly, I ain't mean to cut nobody off. I would un- honestly like to hear more from the viewers too. Uh, after they try the bottle or whatever, leave a comment. Let us know what you think or whatever. If you make a recipe of this, because you know we're finna get some challenges started. Yeah. With this, with this drunk uh, cobbler. Um, okay, cobbler. drunk cobbler is on. I'm gonna make it's my on. drunk cobbler. You make your drunk cobbler. Yeah, I'm gonna make me one. I'm making me one now. I'm in it now. <laughs> I'm in it now. Brody, yeah. what you gonna do? Uh, you- see, the whole time I've been drinking legendary right here. See, I just didn't say, man, because I do this every day. So this, this, this ain't nothing new. Uh, I, you know, I stand behind the product. Yeah, I don't drink. Nothing else is even allowed in my house. Like if if, if it's on in the spirit side of it, it can't come up in here. Mm-hmm. I mean, I ain't gonna call it no brands because I don't need nobody seeing nothing to us. But if it's a if it's a wine, that's cool. If it's beer, that's cool. But if it's in the liquor category, it can't come in my house. I'm gonna say it's this: if, even if it's a wine, I'm not even cool with the wine because legendary smooth. This is the smooth life, bro. So yeah, it is. Yeah. This is this, this is most definitely the smooth, and that's you know that's kind of like a little thing. Like when somebody yeah. drink it, that's the first thing they're gonna they gonna be like this. They gonna smooth, it's smooth. <laughs> they gonna I swear they do that same <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah, they do that same thing. Girl, let me try that. Smooth. This is this is smooth. It's a sneak up on you. Oh, yeah, y'all got something. That's what they say. Oh, yeah, y'all got something. Mm -hmm. Y'all got something. Yeah, they say that. And then as they drink it, they drink it, they like, hey, uh, where the rest of it at? Then that's when they mad at you because you only brought one one bottle. bottle. (laughs) Do not do that. that. We warn you. We warn you. Do not do that. that. People fight over when you have, like, the white elephant party. Oh. Man. Okay, so. Yeah, we, I'm, I'm gonna let you know this. All right, so they people will fight over it, but the bottle is strong. So when it hit the ground, because it's gonna hit the ground, it won't break. It, it shouldn't break. It shouldn't break. It may break. <laughs> it may break. It may break. <laughs> no, but it, it, not, I dropped a bottle out of my truck. I did break. out of my truck. You know how the back go up? Oh, uh, okay. And it didn't oh, okay. Break. Rolled up. <laughs> yeah. So everything is quality all the way to the glass. It is. You gotta love it. You well, gotta I'm excited love it. and I can't wait to try it. So there you have it. <laughs> there you go. And I can't wait to try that peach cobbler too. Cause yeah. the drunk cobbler, drunk, drunk cobbler, drunk drunk cobbler. cobbler. The drunk cobbler. Yeah. The drunk cobbler. It's I'm gonna a- take I can see, look, see, Brody's gonna do something new. That's why I'm watching him. I'm looking dead at him. He finna come up with some kind of pecan pie, something with like he finna he gotta be different, you know what I'm saying? He but gotta be, he finna do something. That look, don't put that thing up on what you, 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 you gonna do something like you finna Google something, you finna do something different, do some meat though for something, you finna do something. Meat meat meat. Listen, oh, 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 second, my second thing is I'm gonna do some wings, but I gotta taste it first and just yeah. see what I can do. Because trust me, I'm what about Bottom some baby man, man? Did you say some wings? Yes, legendary wings. We, yeah, we actually had a yeah, guy. We did that. that. Did it, and it was it came out really good. Mm-hmm. No, I wasn't imagine. But no. were they drunk? You, but were they drunken wings? <laughs> were they drunken wings? Um, <laughs> but, but, because we under uh, the TABC laws, we're not saying you're gonna get drunk on it. That's just the name of it. Uh, yeah, just put that on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I've been meaning to say that for a while. But, but I, I'm sitting here like, can I saute some shrimp with it too? Yes. Yeah, that's, yeah. You can do shrimp, absolutely. And, oh, okay. once and once you it, can you it, can uh, do a cheesecake too. Yes, that cheesecake. Mm-hmm. Oh. So if you go on the website, we actually we actually have that recipe there. You do the legendary peach tea rum. You do cheesecake, a little pie filling, almond milk. You can whatever milk works for you. A uh, little black pepper, tequila, blueberry, Meyer lemon zest, and orange zest is on the website. It's actually on the website. If you want to go get- try it, you know, it's, it's about three things there for you to try out on the dessert side. I bet you Somebody have to do a salad some- dressing, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Somebody made a French toast 
um, mm-hmm. that's on the site, right? We oh, got somebody yeah. making a French toast with it. I can see. Well, I don't think I, I, I seen think it's still on. The, I haven't I tried that. that. I can see that. I can yeah. see that. Yeah. So the next thing that you guys need to put on the the website is the cookbook. We'll put that together for you. <laughs> it, yeah, it's funny you said that's that. That's exactly where yeah. you come in at. Yes, yeah, you're you absolutely go. right. Now we're building the partnership. Right? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> we're building so it. Work. <laughs> that's it. Like, I, I, I love y'all. But so y'all just, are talking so about 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 food and I'm a foodie. I, I know, right? We get all hungry. So y'all about to cook y'all way into this. To this. <laughs> right. Y'all just cook your way. In. Okay. All I, right. I'm gonna get. A, I'm, I'm for real. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna help get a music video for. It. I got some people. Man, let's Man. do it. Huh? Let's do it. That's, you know, we we've had a few people like post us on social media. I think Sherry, I believe you were, you were the first, you know. So definitely kudos to you and thank you for that. Um, but man, it's it's, it's what's funny. your guy? He got it in that video that everybody was doing the thing. Uh, they oh yeah, go- HD for president. Shout out to him too. How the song you go, know, Mr. Pow uh, Pow Pow. Nah 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 nah. Nah. Bow bow bow. Everybody was doing a little. <laughs> Everybody's thing. doing a little TikTok challenge. Oh, so yeah, he he did a video with the two with the legendary in his hand. Oh, on, on, on think president. They know we talking. About, I don't think we good singers, bro. So yeah, I, I, they I, heard I, this before. <laughs> yeah, I, I know they have. I played the song. I know they would. They would know. Da, 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 I know da, what da. song you talking about. Okay, okay. I was feeling a little. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, this this I was feeling this is feeling strange. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 so, yeah. so yeah, y'all know the song. Y'all know the song. Some of y'all need the challenge. Party. Yeah, we know. We know. Turn it on up. Go ahead and have a party with the legendary. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for being here tonight, you guys. Thank you, Shar, for hanging out with us all night long. Thank Courtney, you. you stuck with me, but thank you for making this happen. <laughs> hey, yeah, thank so y'all. Thank great. y'all so much. Thank y'all. I appreciate it. Legendary. Thank y'all. Legendary. Okay, well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Run across the world, the world. Welcome to Cherry's world, his world. Run across the world, the world. Welcome to Cherry's world, his world. Representing for every girl, every girl. Welcome to Cherry's world, his world. Representing for every